you know what's the best thing about small town communities? The friendly people, the fresh air, and that unbeatable hometown spirit. I love small communities, but do you know who doesn't seem to love small town communities? The provincial education funding formula. People, this is not your average high school parking lot. Oh, the Ontario education funding formula works like this. The government gives money to school boards based on how many students are in their jurisdiction. The school boards then take that money and distribute it to the schools in their area. This becomes a problem for schools like ours when the amount of students at the school causes the amount of money the school is getting to be insufficient to run the proper number of courses required for a complete education. The current solution to this problem is putting students into online courses so you can cut teachers from the cost equation. The problem with that? It's not a solution. As it stands, about 40% of our students take online courses, compared to just a small percentage at larger city schools. That doesn't sound like an equal opportunity to me. But just what is the problem with online courses? Motivation, communication, inspiration. All three of these important aspects of learning fall short in online courses, and they pale in comparison to having an actual teacher in the classroom. Since grade nine, I've watched the number of students, the number of teachers, the number of in-class courses all decrease, while the number of online courses has increased. And this leaves me feeling worried about my present and future peers at not only North Mid, but all small high schools. We need to change the way Ontario high schools are funded. We need a set timetable that runs in class, not online, at every single Ontario high school. We are talking about equality of education, not equality of funding per seat.